We've been itching for spring and it's here. We want to bust out of our homes, get outside and have fun. And there's lots that families can do, even just in their own backyard. Assistant Principal Laura Afshari of PA Virtual Cyber shared ideas with me. Thank you so much for being a resource for us and for the families watching right now. Let's go through some of your ideas for backyard fun. One thing we can do is use nature apps. Absolutely. There are so many free apps that we have just at the <laughs> at our fingertips at the ready with our phones. And a couple of them that I wanted to kind of talk to you about are uh, geocaching and Clio, my two favorite free apps. Geocaching is like a modern day treasure hunt where millions of little hidden containers are all over the world uh, waiting for kids, families, groups of people and various teams to go and find them. And it's part of this massive um, conglomeration of folks who just want to get outside and do something fun using using their GPS to try to find these little hidden treasures. It's a, it's, it's a ball for, for families. Um, and also Clio, it's this free app that leads you using GPS again to thousands of historical locations all around you. In fact, I was just looking at mine and within 50 miles, there's 583 historical locations that I can track to. And then once you're there, there's interactive maps and activities and embedded um, just cool gadgets to figure out more about the history of those places. It's very cool. You would never think that there are so many little historical places all over. That is so neat. Um, you have a few other ones too that are fun, like a very like more sciencey, maybe you Absolutely. could say. Yeah, so Starwalk is also a free app that you can shine your uh, phone up to the skies during a, a nighttime walk and get information immediately as to what you're looking at. So if you have children who are really interested in planets or constellations, this is really cool and it's visually beautiful in the app itself. So that's something else that families can do. Um, there's Plant Snap, another free app that helps you identify what kind of plants you're looking at just by shooting your camera at it and also uh, bird identification. There's all kinds of things. There's Audubon birds, there's uh, natural geographic birds, all free just to kind of get out there and be more interested in what's happening in the world around us without sitting in front of a screen. <laughs> yeah, it's like you take yeah. your little screen with you, but you know, it's not really the focus of what you're doing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, y'all are really the expert in, in this because PA Virtual, you're so skilled at coming up with fun, interactive activities for kids. So this is really your cup of tea here. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we aim for our children and students to have a balance between that screen time and the time that they're spending outside and, and you know, doing other activities besides you know, being in a live synchronous class, which, which we also have, uh, but we do want to encourage that um, social emotional learning and the physical activity of students as well, because that goes into the whole child. Um, and now, I mean, we're talking spring, but we're thinking ahead to fall. You are enrolling. Can you tell me what a right. virtual education and education with PA Virtual looks like? Well, thank you for the opportunity to, to talk about that. PA Virtual, we're, we're going into, well, we're over 20 years old. So we're kind of like the pioneer in how e-learning works and um, what works. And so we do have open enrollment right now. And an education with PA Virtual looks and feels pretty interesting. Um, it, it can be a little bit daunting at first for parents considering an e-learning education for their for, for their students. Uh, we do ask that there is a dedicated parent at home or adult at home who acts as our partners in the child's education and, and really is that primary teacher at home who can oversee everything. But students in our school, they will be in their live synchronous classes with their regular teachers, just like you would go to a building and go from class to class, you would go from class to class, but just in an online setting in kind of like this format with, with a Zoom. Uh, we use a platform called um, Blackboard Ultra. And um, so then there are some classes that are asynchronous as well. So students are getting their activities and credits and hours doing things like what we just talked about, getting outside and getting their physical education credits, um, doing music and art. And it, it is a nice balance between being in front of the, the computer and, and also in the community and outside. Well, Laura, thank you for telling us all about it today. And thanks for the fun ideas that I'll be using at my own house this spring. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.